So if you clicked on this video, you probably want to peel the skin off of your feet, which is a good and noble mission because feet skin can be tough and gross. I've tried many peely packs for the feet before, but by far this is the most effective. I've already repurchased it many times over the past couple of years, and I originally reviewed this on my blog, which I will link up here, with before and after pictures where you can see the results of my feet and my husband's feet, which was quite dramatic. This is so effective that I've given it to friends and family members as like a little spa treat yourself gift, and I have a sort of sadistic glee when they text me all of their pictures of their foot peelies and they're like, oh my god, and I'm like, yes, that's supposed to happen. Yes! It uses AHAs like glycolic and lactic acid to peel the gross, dry, callousy layer off of your foot to reveal your new baby skin feet underneath it. So within this little pack here, you get a treatment for one person. And the treatment itself lasts for 90 minutes, so make sure you pick what you want to watch, you go to the bathroom, get snacks, you do all the things that you need to do so you don't have to get up and move when you're doing this treatment. It's not impossible, but it is annoying, so think of just having wet grocery bags wrapped around your feet and shuffling around the house, because that's the closest sensation that you'll get. Some of the product features that the Coco Star Foot Therapy Pack has is that it's formulated with 35 botanical extracts and ingredients. I'll list the full ingredients list down below as well. It contains no parabens, no benzophenone, no sulfates, no synthetic dyes, and no silicon. So if those are things that you're flagging or worried about, don't worry, this doesn't have them. So once you tear open this little blue package here, you'll get a pair of booties connected in the middle. You'll need a pair of scissors to expose the solution and an ankle hole for you to jam your little feeties in but you don't have to worry about securing it with anything else. The entire treatment is self-contained, so there's a little tab at the top near the ankle where you can peel off the sticky back and wrap it more tightly around your entire ankle so the foot treatment won't fall off your foot. Basically, after you repeat that process with your other foot, all you have to do is sit down for that hour and a half and let the magic work. So I can't stress this enough, I have had no reactions to this, none of my friends or family have had any reactions to this, but since this is an hour and a half treatment and it is a topical treatment, if there is any burning sensation, if there's anything unbearable about putting these little baggies on your feet, take them off and rinse off your feet immediately. Even though it says hypoallergenic here, you could have an individual reaction to any of the ingredients on here. Again, in that line of common sense, if you have any cuts or a healing scab or a blister, don't put your little foot into the foot therapy sack because that glycolic acid, that lactic acid, will get into the wound and make it hurt. <laughs> I laugh, but it's not funny. So after the one and a half hours have elapsed, all you have to do is waddle your way to your bathroom, take off the little booties, and rinse off your feet in warm water. Now, you may notice that your feet are a little bit red just because they've been soaking in this solution for an hour and a half, and it won't begin to peel immediately. I usually find the peeling begins on day three to four, and it gets really intense on <laughs> you know, day five to six. So here are my photos of my foot peely journey. For the sake of this video, I didn't exfoliate or pumice my feet after my skin started to peel. I kind of just let them do their natural thing for the course of like a week to two weeks. And when I say a week to two weeks, that's because my right foot had a lot more baggage to shed than my left foot. For some reason, my left foot, even though the treatment was the same, did minimal peeling while my right foot was just, it was like the layers of an onion, stuff still wanted to come off. And since we're at home and I already have locked down my husband, I was like, I'm just gonna roll with this for as long as possible. So on the third day, you can see here that my heels and my toes started to peel just because those are probably the areas that or had the most dead skin to shed. And then three days later, the rest of my foot started to follow in larger flakes. As I mentioned before, my left foot had a lot less baggage to shed than my right foot. And my right foot, the top of my foot started to follow suit 
with the peeling on the bottom of my foot. Basically, my foot looked really gross a week after I completed the treatment. I received the strongest effects of the Cocosar foot treatment around like seven days after I decided to do the initial peel. And my left foot was like good to go almost immediately. It had minimal peeling, but my right foot just was shedding like a snake and I couldn't really stand it anymore. And because I was vacuuming constantly after myself, not to TMI you guys, but I did exfoliate my foot and I helped the remaining peelies along. And this is what my feet look like after having the Coco Star foot therapy treatment. They are much softer. I haven't lotioned them as regularly as I should have, but my heel and my, the base of my big toe are noticeably softer after the initial peel. I really enjoy using this. I can't say I use it regularly, but if I ever want to treat myself to like a little spa day or reset my feet to their little baby feet level, I always go for the Coco Star Foot Therapy because it's gentle. It doesn't like burn super intensely, but it's effective in the fact that I always get my skin peeled off. I use this maybe three times a year and I just like resetting my feet to their baby skin level. My husband, when he initially did this, he was really upset because he was, he is a runner and he was like, I worked really hard for those calluses and now they're gone. So just keep that in mind if you are like coveting your callus feet because you ran a lot. So if you decide to try the Coco Star Foot Therapy Pack, let me know on Instagram. I am very curious to hear your experiences with it, and I might regret asking for it, but, you know, let me know the level of flakage you get, because I'm, I'm a sick person with sick curiosities. <laughs> so if you want to shed some bad juju from your feet, you can definitely do so with the Coco Star Foot Therapy Pack, and everybody knows that 2020 is definitely the year of bad juju. So if you like this video, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, but you can do whatever you want. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! It's very hot in this room, and I've turned off the fan because it interferes with the microphone. And if you see sweat just dripping down my neck, that's why. Okay. I just don't understand the extent of which 